Hello. David Bradley here. How you doing? Uh, I don't talk much about apps and things, but I did find one with the assistance of my mother that is pretty good. It's pretty fine. And what it is, is um, there are many stores, um, restaurants, uh, like grocery stores and other things that at the end of the day or whatever, um, they might have stuff that it's all good. It's just nobody bought it, but it's coming to where, especially restaurants where it would have to be disposed of. So there is this app and it's called too good to go all one word T O O T O G O O D G O. And, um, anyway, download it, get all set up and you set a radius and, uh, of how far you're kind of willing to go and it will show you the people the companies the restaurants or whatever within that circle that are members and put things up on too good to go and you check in and you i wish it, it had better alerts but anyway you, you you know you can check in and see then you can pick favorites and such and I haven't used it like extensively and I've tried a few things, mostly restaurant things. Um, but the one I've really been using most has been pizza pizza. Um, and basically the way it works is I could say they have, they've made stuff for say the lunch crowd and some things don't sell. Then they put up a thing on too good to go. And generally speaking, the price is between 25, and 33% less, um, kind of, sort of. In other words, like if I see that the pizza pizza that I go to has something up and I, I go um, and have a look at it, it doesn't tell you exactly what it is because it's, you know, it, it's the stuff that they didn't sell. But generally speaking, especially the pizza pizza I mostly go to, you end up with about four for one or sometimes three for one, depending what it is. So like, let me, oh, let me just get this a second so I can better tell you, like in terms of dealing with things with pizza, pizza. It, oh, there it goes. So basically, um, if I say they had, now there's one here that has two things left that really means between six and eight things because you get much more so anyway they estimate that what you would normally spend for the same whatever would be 18.99 i think that's what it says i should have had my reading glasses here but what you pay is 5.99 plus tax of course never forget the tax and generally speaking it's set up through a credit card or whatever. Thankfully, this lets me use PayPal because you don't go there and pay for it. You go, you authorize it. And when you actually go there, you show them the app, you tap it, you slide it. That shows, yeah, I came, I got it. It's all good. So I am i don't think I'm going to do anything today. So basically, like right now, the one I'm looking at is a pizza pizza. They said they have two left, which basically means somewhere between six and eight, maybe slices would be available. Now, the other thing is, is there is a time that they're available. This pizza pizza, I think they figure that every night between 11 and 12, they have stuff left over. So every day, pretty much, they put up this thing that says we have two left and the time or the window to pick it up is between 11 p.m. and 12, no, 11.59 p.m. I think they close at midnight. So um, even though it's now 8.35 in the morning, if I knew for sure that I was like, yeah, that's good, I should do that, I would go and I would click on reserve and go through the payment things, and I would mine through PayPal, and then probably, because it's, it's, how far is it away from me? Three, no, that's the rating. I'm not sure how far this one is. It's, it's, it's not the closest, 
Oh, 6.4 kilometers, maybe four miles or so. It's not the closest to me, but it's not bad. It's within reasonable driving. Um, then, uh, probably about 10.45 in the evening, I would go there. The traffic is light, so it's quick. I go, I walk in, the guy there, he knows me a little bit because I've done it a few times. And they, now here's the thing. At this pizza pizza, they're like, you know, basically you look at what they have left over and they say, yeah, yeah, take what you want. Others are not like that. Others have it already. Um, and there's, you know what, in the midst of all this, there's only one that I will not go back to because see, I like them to heat it up in their nice, lovely oven. So it's all ju beautiful and juicy and wonderful again. So it can be eaten immediately. Um, it, it tastes better that way. And the microwave is fine. I can do things in the oven. It's fine. It's never the same. So there was only one I've ever come upon where they won't do that. Others, they're like, yeah, fine. We'll heat it up. That's great. Dandy. Wonderful. Um, so I did say to the one that I wasn't so pleased with, I said, I said, oh, okay, well, then I just won't be back. And that means not only will I not be back for this thing, the too good to go, um, I won't be back ever. Like even if it was the last pizza pizza that was open late at night, I wouldn't go there. Um, I think they're foolish. Because all the others, you, you, they, they don't insist on heating it. But if you say, could you heat it up? They say, yeah, sure. And they do. And it's good. Mm. And actually, the funny thing is, is I, there are more of these restaurants around in my area than I even knew until I started using this app called Too Good To Go. Um, anyway, once again, you don't know what you're getting. You may not get exactly what you is your favorite. But I very rarely have ever got anything that I just said, oh dear, I can't do this. I, actually, I've never got anything like that. There are some things, like I, I'm, especially when I was younger, I was much pickier. But, you know, with pizza, you know, you throw enough stuff on it, it all kind of jumbles together. So, um, and then usually, you know, there are leftovers, and I carefully put them in the fridge, and... Maybe for the next day or two, I nibble on them. Carry on. Um, I did do another place, and I it, it went okay. I'm trying to think. I see there's not a whole lot of places around me that are part of this yet, but I'm sure there will be more. Um, anyway, in, in terms of them, I guess it's better better than than saying oh well and tossing it because it's really it's not bad. It just didn't get bought. And then it gets bought. So, anyway, if you go to the App Store, and I'm imagining it's available on various platforms, and type in too good to go, T O O T O T O O D G O, it will come up and, um, you know, get set up and get it figured, pick your radius, and see how it goes. The other thing I noticed one day is I, I the first time I used it, I kind of I was sure that I slid it, but then I wasn't sure. And the guy was like, Did you? I said, yeah, I think so. But I noticed that it, it went a searching again where I was. So as you move, you're kind of in the middle of the radius and it's sort of telling me about other things around there, which I wasn't going to do anything about. So if you're out on the road somewhere or you're visiting a strange town or whatever, it will figure out where you are and tell you about things that are around you, which may come in handy or not, depending on the situation. Um, if you're in a strange town, at least it'll tell you where there's a grocery store, even if you can't take advantage of their deal. So it is a good app and it does save things from being tossed out. And that is a good thing because there's an awful lot of food wastage um, in this part of the world and in other parts of the world, there's a whole lot of people, you know, who don't have enough to eat, even in this country, even in the United States, even, you know, there's lots of people who are suffering from food insecurity. So it's a good thing. It's a good app. And, um, thanks for listening. See you at Pizza Pizza or some other forward-thinking store that takes part in this app.
two, good to go. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.